Hey, how's it going? This is Amy. Welcome back. Uh, I just wanted to give a little reading update. Um, yeah, something I might start doing on uh, for some Thursday videos, uh, book videos that give like reading updates where I'm at, maybe weather updates, as in today our weather is, uh, whoa, what happened there? Um, cold, rainy, drizzly. Um, like last week I was in shorts and now I'm back in sweats. Um, so our weather is a little mentally unstable right now, is what I can say. It looks like we're going to have rain the rest of March. Uh, maybe some clear skies on um, Easter Sunday. I hope um, that would be nice. Not that we do anything outside, but anyway. Um, yeah, so just thought I'd let you know what I've finished so far. My March reading has not gone well. It's very, um, very little. Um, but I did finally finish Bear Town by Frederick, Fed, Frederick, oh my God, I can't talk. Frederick Backman, Bear Town. Uh, that was a good, I won't give a full review. We'll do that when I do my reviews, but, um, Bear Town was a good one. It was unexpectedly, it was, an unexpected really I really liked um an unexpected like um it's not like the usual murder mystery thriller suspense psychological thriller that I'm used to reading it's more of a I would consider it like a drama um so just a little bit about it it's this um town called Bear Town and it's about mainly about these hockey this hockey team it's like a little league but it's hockey little league these teenagers um, so the gist of the story is that the general manager of this hockey team, his daughter is, uh, assaulted by one of these hockey players. And, um, so at the first half of the, like the first half of the book, it starts out giving the backstory of like the town, the people, like the players, their, just their background and how they are. And then kind of mid story, then you pick up from the actual what happens and then um after that it's just like the how it affects everyone what what had happened how it affects the town the individual peoples um and then other people affected by it that you don't think it didn't affect them directly but it does affect them like the team and and everything else so it was very interesting um i will save my um rating for the uh book reviews I do but um he has a couple other books out that I might I, I realized after starting to read this that it was a trilogy actually I don't know what I can't think of the other ones but um it's Frederick Backman and um that's all I'm gonna say about it I did finish it I finished it last night I started out reading I started out with the audio um my thing is opposite. I started out with the audio on my Libby app and then I ran out of time. So fortunately my library was able to get me a copy. I only needed like 20% left to actually read. So it was just a little bit I finished last night. It was probably like, probably like four or six chapters I had to read um, to finish it off. And uh, yeah, I was afraid I was going to have to wait weeks to finish the book, but actually my library, I was able to get it within, uh, a week of me having to turn that audio back in. So that was good because it was clear in my mind what had happened throughout the rest of the book. So yeah, that was a, I actually really liked it. So it, it's a good one. And then I am still reading people. Yes, I am. I've been reading this since February. We're still reading it in March and hopefully by God, we're going to finish it by the time it's the end of April before then um, is Jackie Collins, Hollywood Wives. Hollywood Wives. We're still there. We're still in Beverly Hills. We're still having the early 80s vibes going on. It's pre-Beverly Hills Housewives reality show in book form. That's Jackie. She's passed has passed away now. Um, I don't know. It's been a few years. But um, anyway, she had a whole series of Hollywood um, books. The Hollywood uh, Husbands, Hollywood Wives, the Hollywood Divorces, the Hollywood Kids, 
so yeah, I'm liking this. I am. I'm just, you know, I, I mostly read it at night, so I'm tired and I've been falling asleep a lot because I'm tired doing other things, being responsible, um, halfway responsible, maybe. Uh, anyway, but yeah, I'm still there. We're, we're still in, <clears throat> we're still in Beverly Hills. We're still feeling those vibes. Yeah, this is, um, published in, I think they originally published in 1983. So it's early eighties. Um, things are happening. There's actually, this started out with a murder happening, which I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I guess you would say, but I don't know if I should say pleasantly surprised. I was surprised. <laughs> that sounds a little too weird, but uh, yeah, so that's kind of intermixed in the goings on of what's these things are going on in Beverly Hills with these wives and the husbands and the affairs and the, uh, they're making, there's a movie being made and, you know, all kinds, all kinds of good stuff. Um, so anyway, so we're still, we're still chugging along. Um, and I probably will read the other ones, um, the, the Beverly, the Hollywood ones, the husbands, the divorces, the kids. I mean, it's like a whole series, I guess. So if I'm reading the wives, I feel like I need to finish, you know, the whole family genre of that. But anyway, that's where we're at. And, uh, just wanted to do a little update, my reading update. Yeah. Uh, March has been very slow. Um, I did finish the second book in the Will Trent series. I was moved. I moved on to the third one, but I paused that because I didn't want to start that yet. I really wanted to finish, go through my March. Um, so for March reviews, I may only have the two. I may have three. I may have five, six. Yeah, I, I don't know, honestly. Um, it is what it is. Uh, but I hope you have a good rest of your day or evening or whatever it is um and in the coming uh holiday whether you celebrate it or not i hope you have a good sunday um but yeah so we're just gonna leave it at that and i uh, will see you later with another book video soon thanks for watching